over the Brexit fight is a war to the death over these two views of the world. One view of the world is, as you suggest, um, uh, half the population, a little bit more than half, who voted for Brexit, what they were voting for was to have a, a, a situation in which they could democratically rule themselves as a nation bound together by a common culture which found its expression in laws they passed through their national parliament which could not be overturned or was, would not be subject to any foreign interference. That's what a nation is, independent, sovereign. And it comes to the, it come, all boils down to the fact that they appreciate, love, want to cherish, want to continue and protect and defend this idea of a shared national experience, which everybody's bound together. That doesn't mean you can't be different within that, but it means that there is a common shared project called a nation. That's what people wanted. And that is absolute anathema to the progressive ideals uh, of uh, universalism, in which the very idea of a particular culture based on particular moral precepts is anathema because it is particular and therefore excludes, according to this dogma, everybody else. So you can't have a situation in which not everybody in the world can immediately share it. And consequently, you must destroy it. And as a result, the nation is illegitimate. And as a result, anybody who voted for that in Brexit is themselves illegitimate. Mm. They themselves must be racist, xenophobic, and so on. And so the nowheres think that the people who voted for Brexit are basically troglodytes and therefore can be completely ignored. Their view counts for nothing. They say so mm. because it's oh, I've, racist. Oh, I've heard it. I've heard people say that. Right. So and what, you see it in America. You so see. what they're writing off is the essence of democracy. Yes, that's right. That's it's what they're writing off. Many of my fellow citizens' views are so illegitimate yeah. that they shouldn't be but, allowed to have their say. But you can see from their point of view why mm. they have to stop this. Because, first of all, they purported to stand for everything good in the world. And that anybody who stood against that view of the world was um, just not really entitled to be part of society at all. They could be written off. Deplorable. Now you can Deplorables. De de deplorable. Mm. But you can do that with a few people. You can do it with a few hundred people. You can do it with a few thousand people, but 52% uh, of the population, what, they're all racist? They're all xenophobic? So this can't, this can't be.